everyone it's neha um it's part two of my beach tober video so today i'm going to be doing day 10 can you like pan for that like bird right there that just <laughs> <laughs> like, it was the, the white stork one. right there the white one right? yeah it just fucking screamed oh my God, nobody scary. wants me to record my intro that scared me look nature doesn't want they came oh they did they thought i was gonna feed them or something nah Sorry, little water rat. <laughs> no. Hey guys, so this is part two of my Peach Tober video. Um, if you guys don't know already, Peach Tober is a drawing challenge in October. And this is part two. Part one is going to be in the description below if you haven't seen it already. I'm going to be doing day 10 through 18 in this video. So yeah, let's just get into it. Cover it. Okay, so let's just get into it. This is day 10's entry and the prompt for today is pet. So I was just thinking about all of the pets and all of the little animals that are in um, the cartoons that I really like. So I started drawing them and uh, let's see you guys like guess the characters. I think um, you can kind of tell like there's Clifford in there, there's Garfield. Um, I don't know if you guys know the pink lion from Steven Universe and obviously Gary and the pig from Gravity Falls um, and then I also added a little Hamtaro at the end but yeah hope you guys like that this one was definitely one of my favorites to draw and film um, but yeah Okay, how could I forget about Rufus from Kim Possible, but he's also in this one. Okay, so the next prompt was egg and initially I started with this like little easter egg design and I was gonna leave it like that but it looked a little uninteresting so I ended up drawing designs on all the easter eggs and then adding like grass and some bunnies to add some interest. you can tell but there's a little chick holding a knife right there um yeah that's a little easter egg for this easter egg um please but yeah after adding the bunnies and the holes and the ticks i just like put the bunnies in the holes and called it a day okay this is another example of where i totally could have done something normal and i just like didn't um, just for the sake of individuality and it turned out kind of weird I don't really enjoy it but um, the prompt for today was foam and so I did one of those like you know those marathons where people have like bubbles and stuff and they run through it like I kind of had the idea of one of those um, so yeah I did that
for day 13 the prompt was horn so i decided to draw a rhino um using a didgeridoo if you guys don't know what a didgeridoo is it's like a like some sort of australian horn so yeah i just thought it was fitting you know like something horn playing a horn on a hill just h words you know <laughs> um but yeah i don't have much explanation i just kind of drew whatever came to mind today Okay, so day 14 was storm and I just decided to draw a pine tree breaking off in a lightning storm because um, at my house we have a lot of trees around it and just the night before we had a big storm where a whole bunch of branches actually fell down. So I was just kind of going off of that and uh, drew that. So a lot of these were actually pretty impromptu. I pretty much drew them the day of or like just the day before. Um, so there's not much to really add. So I just wanted to ask you guys like how you guys are doing. Um, what's going on in your guys' lives? Like I really want to hear um, from you guys if you're watching still. But um, yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Okay, day 15 was like my favorite day of the challenge. Um, I did uh, the prompt core, and so I used the Earth's core for today's entry, and I drew like different people like walking all around it, and I made them all people of color, so I'm very proud of it, honestly. I did all different hair, all different kinds of clothes and stuff, and yeah, I really like the way it turned out, except on Instagram, I remember I posted it with a dark background and I really wish I posted it with the light one because it was honestly like way prettier this way. You could see all the details, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. And I was thinking of making this into a sticker, but I'm not quite sure, but yeah, let me know.
Okay, day 16 was stripes, and all I could think about was Tony the Tiger and Frosted Flakes. So I just drew Tony the Tiger and Frosted Flakes. Um, I just drew a little earn your stripes, like, font stuff, and put him, like, coming through the O um, with little heart nipples. So hope you guys like that. Um, Yeah, this was a really quick and easy one, but I really liked it. prompt was lily pad and i drew this frog a while ago for like absolutely no reason in my sketchbook earlier and i really liked the way that he looked and like his design so i decided to paint him up and procreate but i tried out a lot of different color combinations before i got something that i liked um i actually tried a lot of different ones and when i posted i posted so many different versions of it but I decided to post the yellow one first, but here you see the blue one as the final. But yeah, uh, let me know which color you guys like best.
Lastly, we have my entry for day 18, which the prompt was warm. And since it was October, I was just thinking about all the things that make me feel warm from Halloween. Because I actually really like Halloween. It's like one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. But um, yeah, so I drew like, you know, making cookies and um, like watching movies and uh, carving pumpkins. So I thought that was really cute and I hope you guys like that.
Okay, the birds were totally being chaotic as you can see in the beginning of this video, so I totally forgot to film the outro. But thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I know this is my longest video I've released, but it really means a lot if you guys are still watching. And um, yeah, I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you next time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next Tuesday.